Goodness gracious. Hello, anyone who's here. Hi, Sarah. I'm just doing a little impromptu live because I'm sitting here and it's daytime and I'm making some scrunchies. Hi, Darlin's Decorations. Hi, 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 hi. What's up, everyone? Hi, Andy. Hi, Anna Lee. How are you guys doing? I am making scrunchies, making scrunchies, making scrunchies because Well, first of all, I have a lot of velvet yarn and I need to um, use it up, of course. But also because I make scrunchies all the time and they're always sold out. So I'm just, I'm trying to get some more back on the website so people can have them. Hi. Thank you, Diane. You're making a floppy bunny right now? That sounds fun. Thank you, Sarah. The time for me is 2.54 p.m., so it's almost three o'clock. I just took my dogs out, so we're just kind of chilling until, until dinner time, you know? You were binge watching my vlogs earlier. Thank you, Olivia, I appreciate that. I hope you had a good time. Right now, I've, I just finished editing a vlog. I have it exporting. I'm gonna upload it soon. Tomorrow, I'll be posting a tutorial for the bottle holder that I posted recently. <clears throat> I posted it as a YouTube short, so if you didn't see it, then, you know, it's fine. I am not single. Hi, Nora. We're just making some scrunchies, hanging out, really. I have a tutorial on my channel for these scrunchies. I actually have two. One of them is really old and then I have an updated one that I posted um, not that long ago, like maybe a month or two ago. But it shows you how to make them, how to get them all ruffly and stuff like that. I'm feeling good today. I went out to lunch with my grandma. We did some shopping and I got home. I did some editing, packed some orders. Now we're making scrunchies. <laughs> I have a lot of practice crocheting and not looking. Mostly I attribute that to watching anime and having to read the subtitles. But also just because I make things a lot. A lot of the stuff I make, I make it over and over and over and over again. So it's kind of like 
muscle memory, you know? We did not have Thai. We actually went to Cheddar's and I got some chicken tenders and they were pretty good. What do you guys dip your chicken tenders in? So far today, this would be my second scrunchie. I made this one this morning. So we're just getting started. I'm making a scrunchie, hair tie, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, fry sauce, fry sauce from Freddy's. Garlic mayo, interesting. I think ranch dressing is the best, best, the best, the best. I always dip my chicken tenders in ranch. I'm not super interested in making amigurumi. Um, I will, I'll like, I'll make it for a video, but like, it'll probably be just that. It'll be like a one-time thing for a video and that will most likely be it. I've made amigurumi before. It just, it never has held my attention for very long. I don't really like making them. And then you have to buy all the stuffing as well. And I just, I don't have, there's not enough room in my house, you know? I can't. The tutorial for the Snapple cup holder is coming out tomorrow actually. So make sure you um, turn on the bell on my channel so that you get notified whenever I post new videos so that you don't miss anything. You feel me? You feel me? Let me see if I can get some background music on that will not get us demonetized. I like cats. I'm I I like cats. Let's see. Let's see. You can't believe you found me live streaming? Well, welcome, welcome in. What is my favorite anime? I don't know. Hmm. Hi. Hunter Hunter is very good. I've watched that. My favorite ones right now are Solo Leveling and Free Run Beyond Journey's End, which unfortunately they both just have their season finale, so now I'm gonna have to wait a really long time. But some of my favorites overall would be Full Metal Alchemist. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't even know. Terry is doing great. Terry is here. He's sleeping right now. There he is. He's doing really good. I'd say he's pretty much back to normal. He's still very old, old man, but he's doing good. I have never been to Turkey. I think my favorite scrunchie color is, um, the ones that I've been making recently is probably burgundy or potent purple. And both of those are the Bernat crushed velvet colors. Honestly, they're really cute. Mainly because they are purple, and I really love purple. And they're also like multicolored looking. 
I have seen Demon Slayer. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen all of it. Waiting for the new episodes to come out. There is a big difference between knitting and crochet. Yes. I do both. Um, but they are quite different. Guys, we finished our first crunchy. Um, I... Okay, well... He was named Terry, my our dog, by my boyfriend, because he was my boyfriend's dog before I met him. But um, originally his name was Teddy, but it just, it kind of like evolved into Terry over time for reasons I'm not totally sure. But whenever I met him, his name was Terry, <laughs> and it is, still is Terry. My favorite thing to crochet is... A bunch of different stuff mainly I make clothing but if I get bored I like to jump around like make a bandana make a scrunchie make a top make a hat make a scarf you know you know I have another dog but those are all my pets I just have two dogs my favorite lily sugar and cream color at the moment is kelp because it's pretty and I like it. For the pico stitch border on the bandanas, I just do a pico every three single crochets. So I do three single three single crochets, blech, and then I do a pico, which a pico is you chain three, and then you do a slip stitch back into that single crochet where you started chaining, and it just makes a little tiny loop. And then I would just keep going. So I'd do three single crochets, pico, so on and so forth. I personally think that knitting is harder, but I think everyone has their own opinion. I think you should try both and see which one works better for you. You know, you know what I mean? I don't, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do another hair bleach video. I very obviously need to because wowza, my roots are very grown out. But I've been going back and forth. I've been like, I've been debating on whether or not I want to bleach it again or if I just want to go back to my natural brown color. I don't know. I can't decide, which is why I haven't done it yet, which is why it's hair grown out so long. But I really, I do like the blonde on the bottom. I think it looks really good. Mm. I've done pink before. The first time that I bleached the bottom, I dyed it pink. And then the second time I was going to dye it pink again, but I, uh, I bleached it all. And then I was looking at it while it was bleached. And I was like, you know what? This looks, this looks good. This looks even better. So I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> um, you should watch my scrunchie tutorial. I show you how to hide the ends or weave them in. So. I could explain it to you on the live, but you know, it's just, it would be way, way easier if you would just watch the tutorial, honestly, just cause. This, the scrunchie is stretchy because I crocheted around a ponytail holder, a ponytail holder. There's a ponytail in here, so it works just like a regular scrunchie. Hmm. Secrets to staying motivated. My, well, okay. I mean, it's not like a huge secret, but crochet is my business, so... 
a huge motivator for me is making money. You know, people order things, I need to make them. This, like, I mean, it's not really an option for me. But also, like... If I need to take a break, then I take a break. But I don't generally have to take long periods away from crocheting because it's not a it's not a big problem for me. Like I can stop crocheting for a day and then the next day I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> because um, I just, I really like crocheting. Cause I mean, it's for me, it's kind of like fidgeting because I'm not really thinking very much, especially like, I'm not thinking about this crunchy at all. I'm really just trying to read comments and answer you guys, even though there's so, so many comments. I'm trying my best. But I mean, basically like my hands are going, it's just kind of like a little fidget toy. It's pretty nice. I usually watch TV or do something else. If you guys want to buy anything that I make, I sell everything on my website, which is passionategoods.com. So everything on there is available. if you would like. I also sell merch if you're interested in that. And you can find the links to that in all of my video descriptions. My, mainly I sell clothing. I sell scrunchies like this. I sell crop tops a lot. I have made a few cardigans recently. I want to make some bags to put up. I don't have any full coverage tops at the moment or planned in the near future. Um, I guess technically I'm self-taught. I mean, I just watched YouTube tutorials and I, uh, I learned that way. I have made socks in the past. I've knit a couple pairs of socks, maybe like three pairs. Uh, but after that, I was like, I'm good. No more socks for me. <laughs> yes, I do sell. I sell everything that I make. Crochet is my full-time job. I'm currently making a scrunchie. Socks are popular right now. I feel like socks have always been popular. I do not sell plushies, no. I have some friends that sell plushies. If you like plushies, you should check out Crochet Me Zaddy, Drooby Zoo. Those are some good people. Crochet Me Zaddy has a YouTube channel and he makes vlogs. And he is from New Zealand. He makes really, really cute um, plushies. I haven't made any sun hats. I make bucket hats, which is, I mean, kind of close, but sun hats, I don't think so. Um, if you want to know how to crochet, crochet, wow. <laughs> if you want to learn how to crochet from me specifically, I have beginner tutorials on my channel, so you can go check it out. I have a playlist. Um, how to crochet for absolute beginners. If you want to watch them, you totally can, and I can teach you how to crochet. I can't do it right now through the live, but you know, they're available on my channel. You're making a scrunchie too? Nice. Let's make a scrunchie together. I am doing a treble crochet stitch. Thank you. Thank you for complimenting my hair, guys. My most popular seller right now is scrunchies. Um, I've been selling scrunchies back to back to back. I made um, like, I made six scrunchies, new scrunchies last night, brand new. And it was like 
11 30 at night it was almost midnight and i had just finished them and i went into my app my shopify app which is what i run my website through and i stocked them and then i'm not even kidding like less than 10 minutes they were all gone and i was like are people just are people sitting here and refreshing and waiting for scrunchies i swear to god <laughs> but i mean that's that's fantastic that's what you want as a business but i was like guys I'm, try I'm trying my hardest. I have worn one of my tops swimming before. It was fine. It was a little bit like heavy. I mean, you know, it survived afterwards and it looked fine. I took some pictures of me with it on in the pool. That, but okay, that was like, I'm gonna say that was like three years ago at least. Personally, I would rather wear a swimsuit, but do what you're gonna do. I do take custom orders, yes. Most of my tops have custom options on my website, so you can go and pick the size, the design, and the color and stuff like that. And if you want anything else, like, you know, if you want to message me and be like, hey, can you make me 10 pink scrunchies? I'll be like, yes. And then I'll send you a invoice and we'll get it done. Um, but there's a custom order form, like contact sheet on my website. You can fill it out and then I will email you back. I mean, I, I only take custom orders for like regular things. <laughs> Generally things that I make like if you message me and ask me for a stuffed animal No, I'm, I won't I won't take that but you know if you want like a specific Number of scrunchies if you want a specific color if you see something that's like out of stock and you're like Hey, can you make this for me? Like yes, I will take those custom orders But not just not anything No blankets No socks You feel me? My website is passionategoods.com. Passionate, same as my username, and then goods. G-O-O-D-S. I don't do stuffed animals, no. I've been crocheting since I was 13, and I am 24 now, so it has been 11 years. 11 years, 11 years. They stretch because I crochet it around a ponytail, so... It is, it's all good. It's, it works just like a regular ponytail. I use Shopify. That is what my website is run through. How long does it take me to edit a vlog? I guess it depends on the vlog and what I did in there. Some things are really tedious to edit and then some of it is really quick, you know? It depends on how much I have to cut out. How many times did I say, um, a hundred times? Did I have to cut out? Uh, did I have to cut it out where I said, uh, um, a hundred times? I've also realized that apparently I stutter a lot, which I had no idea that I had that problem until I started editing, vide editing videos of me speaking. And then I was like, what the heck? <laughs> when did I do? How long have I done that? Who knows? If you make something from one of my video tutorials or my patterns, you are allowed to sell it. I would just really, really appreciate it if you would credit me somewhere. So like, you know, if you're posting it online, say on Etsy and you're putting it for sale, just, just put it in the item description. Just be like, this pattern is from Passionate Goods and you know, put a link. Be nice credit designers if you're selling in person like you don't have to like tell people like by the way this is a pattern for passionate goods but like if you're posting online then give credit be nice and i appreciate it i can crochet without looking because i'm just so awesome <laughs> 
I'm doing treble crochets right now. The dogs are great. They're chilling. They're both sleeping behind me in their beds. The yarn that I'm using right now for the scrunchie is um, Juicy Couture Velvet. This is from Joanne and the color is called Angel. It's pretty much just like a soft white color. Hi, Lucy. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I feel like an old lady. I wish that I could make the uh, text bigger on my phone screen or something. the heck let's just rip it open. there you go <clears throat> um i have done one big de-stashing yarn sale usually whenever i do that I, um, I will put it on my Instagram story. And, you know, I'll just, I'll just post everything on my Instagram story and I put a price and then usually I will like, whoever messages me first to claim it, they can have it and I'll mail it to them. And generally, um, since it's like a de-stash and these people are kind of like helping me out, I usually will just do the cost of shipping plus maybe like a dollar or something but honestly I, ha I haven't done one in a really really long time but I was thinking about doing another one soon maybe anyway you guys should follow me on Instagram but if I ever do sell off some of my yarn that I have I will I'll, I'll always do it on um Instagram stories. A bandana or a beanie? Um, I think that you should make a bandana because they're faster. And then after that, if you're still feeling crafty, you can make a beanie. The scrunchies cost $3.50 a piece and then plus shipping. Are you planning on making more products? I am always making more products. Um, maybe, a, maybe like a wider variety. Maybe I should make more new products, but I'm always trying to like restock things and make more stuff for my website. I, I'm trying to keep up with it. Where am I from? I do ship to Canada. I'm from Missouri. I don't make toys. Hi, hi, hi. I have tutorials for pretty much all of my tops, I think. On my channel. I can make bags. I haven't made a bag in quite a while. I was just thinking about making some bags out of all of the granny squares that I made. Would you guys want like square bags, like a tote bag, or should we make a rounded bag? Rounded. TSL Dame. Hey girl. Thank you so much for the three dollars. I appreciate it. Uh 
Um, if you're looking for my Instagram handle, it is passionate underscore goods. You don't have to apologize for being late. Honestly, today has been so good. So good. So good. It was, it was like really last minute. I was just sitting here and I was making scrunchies and I was like, why don't we do like a little impromptu live on my phone? I don't make scrunch. I don't, I don't make plushies because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. No. If I ever do make, if I ever do make plushies, you guys will know about it. I'll make a video. I'll try it out. And then I will probably sell them on my website afterwards. Cause I, I don't want to keep those. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep one. You were playing Stardew. I'm literally playing Stardew Valley music as background. Can you hear it? It's kind of low. I just, I just thought it would be, it would be a nice touch. And then also like, I, I think it won't get us demonetized. I'll turn it up a little bit. The most difficult project that I have made, I'm, I'm not sure. Made it to fall, lovely. I want, I want to start a new game. I haven't, the last time I played Stardew was probably three years ago, I think, because it was at my last living space. I haven't played since then. I, I went on a binge and I played it so much. And I kind of want to start a new game. Felicia, thank you so much for the $5. I really appreciate it. I love your content and your personality. Thanks for all the entertainment. That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. My gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, Stitch Lover. Have a good day. I'm crocheting scrunchies. We're making some scrunchies. I've played Zelda a little bit. I played it um, for my boyfriend because he is a gamer and he posted it on his YouTube channel. I've also played a little bit of Skyrim. Those aren't really my kind of games, but I was thinking about playing more games. Wow, look how perfect this was. This is the end of our skein. And I just did the last stitch on the scrunchie. Just me. Thank you so much for the $3. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Thursday. I don't post on Reddit. I really like Reddit stories and whatnot. I I follow all of the crochet, all of the popular crochet related related Reddit. What is it called? I don't know. Um, anyway, right now I'm going to go through all three of these scrunchies and we're going to weave in our ends since we have run out of the ball and then we're going to move on to a different color. So, so far in our live, it's been 33 minutes. We've made three scrunchies. That's pretty good. I just put in a gigantic order of velvet yarn, which is crazy. You guys will hear about it in my next vlog. So fast, so fast. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to clear out some of the velvet yarn before it gets here because I just got an email that it shipped, so... you will not be able to guess how much yarn I ordered. My tip for beginner crocheters is to watch multiple tutorials from multiple different people because everyone teaches differently. Everyone has their own little tips and tricks. And so honestly, just like go around, watch tutorials from everyone and pick out what works best for you. And then over time, like, You'll just, you'll be so good. I, I love how someone says you're not cool, but then they don't even use the right your. That always makes me laugh. 
tips on selling stuff is to have a good social media presence, make, make posts, let people know that you're selling stuff. And my other tip would probably be take good photos. Um, I did hear about Joanne's bankruptcy. It's a chapter 11, I believe. So they should just be reorganizing some of their assets, doing some financial planning and, and whatnot. As of right now, they're not gonna be closing all of their stores. So we're fine. No, no one panic. It's, it's all good. Can I make a star purse? Ooh, I've seen those. I've thought about making them. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future. Not right now though. We're on a scrunchy binge. Okay, there we go. Next. Um, if you guys want more tips on how to run a crochet business, I actually recently posted a Q&A about pretty much everything that I that I know. Next, next in our lineup is going to be this. I'm trying to get rid of all of the juicy couture that I've got. So I've got I picked out these because they match they match but this is coral haze and it's sparkly. Can you tell? So that's that's next on our agenda. These can make four scrunchies. I sell everything that I make. Oh, thank you for linking the business Q&A video. Thank you, thank you. You're subbing? Thanks for subbing, man. Everyone subscribe. Can you use milk cotton? Um, I don't know. I have never used milk cotton before. Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm wearing a scrunchie I made using your tutorial right now. I love it. Thanks for the content. Thank you so much. That is extremely, extremely sweet of you and thank you for being here. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Can I make a teddy bear? Okay, all right. <laughs> if I make a video where we try out Amigurumi, are you all gonna watch it? Are you guys, is everyone gonna watch it? I just, I need to know if it's gonna be worth it or not, okay? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. If you want to ask something, just send the question in the chat, buddy, buddy pal. The pattern that I'm using for the scrunchies is um, uh, on my channel. I got a tutorial for it. I don't have a written pattern um, right now. I'm not sure how to write a pattern for the scrunchies, especially because like on the crocheting around the ponytail part, I literally was just like, just uh, crochet as many single crochets on the ponytail as as fits. I don't know. I'll figure out how to write write a written pattern. I had a two dollar post. Did somebody send a sticker? Did I miss it? I'm blind. I actually am blind legally. Oh yes, zombie. Thank you so much for the $2. Girl, aren't you in the sun because because you're dazzling. What? Stop. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed that. But thank you. Thank you, TSL, for reminding me. The chat moves so fast and then I can't see it anymore. You made me blush. That's so embarrassing. Am I 
Am I a grown adult? Um, yeah, I'm 24. I think that's that is that a is that, is that adult enough? What do we think? If I had to choose between fluffy or thin yarn for like the rest of my life, I guess I would have to pick fluffy because I just I really hate thin yarn. If it's if it's a three weight or less, like no thank you. No thank you. I would survive with fluffy yarn. I guess I would have to like, I would have to transition into making Ami because that would be the only option. If I could only use fluffy yarns, I would just have to make Ami Gurumi and scrunchies all day. I would, I, I would like to keep my four weight cotton yarn and acrylic yarn, please, please. I love pink. I'm from Missouri. Scrunchies or tops? Um, if I had to pick one, I would pick tops. Three scrunchies complete. Ends weaved. Moving on. Next, we're gonna use up this skein of Juicy Couture Sparkles. Crochet tapestry is like, it's on my list of things that I want to do. I have used this color before. It's called Coral Haze. They have it with and without um, sparkles. Hello. There we go. There we go. That was a good center pull. Gift ideas. Honestly, scrunchies are a great gift idea if your person likes to wear scrunchies. Zombie, again, $2. What's your favorite color to crochet, cutie? Thank you. Um, what, what is my favorite color to crochet? Let's see. Honestly, I love working with pink. Pink is always like a great, great option. For your boyfriend, I think a good, um, a good, a good gift for your boyfriend would probably be a beanie. Cause you can make some pretty, some pretty nice looking masculine beanies, or you can make a femme looking beanie for your boyfriend. Um, what else? What else? Socks, I guess, if you want to make socks. Make a big heart pillow. Great idea. Bye. Have a good day. Um, yeah, I know how to crochet a blanket. I just don't like making blankets. I mean, blankets are are pretty easy. I don't think you necessarily have to know how to make them. You just have to take a swatch and make it gigantic. You know. You could make your boyfriend a blanket if you if you really really love him. You could do a sweater, but I mean, apparently you're not really supposed to make your boyfriend a sweater because of like the sweater curse, which is like, I'm pretty sure it's like, if you make your boyfriend a sweater, you will break up or something. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. I do like Stardew Valley, yeah. Um, I haven't made a backpack before. Ah! Blue or green? I guess, ooh, mm, ooh, I, I pick green, I pick green. Is that okay? 
for your dad, I would definitely say a hat, but it also depends on your dad. Like I make my dad and my stepdad hats a lot, but both of them really like hats. So, um, I have shipped orders to London before, I think pretty sure. Thank you, Kimberlyn. Yeah, that's what got me thinking about starting a new Stardew Valley game was the the recent update. It was like 1.6 or something, right? Red or yellow? Ooh, I guess I would have to pick yellow. That's an interesting choice though. 1.6.3? Oh. Oh. I learned how to crochet watching YouTube tutorials and stuff. Orange or blue? Blue. I've seen the crochet flower bouquets, but I probably wouldn't make one myself. I feel like to make them look good, you kind of have to make them kind of like small and intricate. Unless you're making tulips. I don't think those have to be small. I think the tulips are cute, kind of, sometimes. I don't know. It's like 50-50. I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift, no. Oh yeah, and also dealing with the wires is a lot. Orange or pink? Gotta go with pink. Gotta go with pink. How fast are you supposed to crochet? I mean, you can you crochet however fast you need to crochet, okay? I go fast because I crochet a lot. I crochet every day. This is my full-time job. It's my business. It's what I do. So, I mean, if I didn't crochet fast, that would be more surprising, I think. Okay, I didn't miss this one this time. Zombie, thank you. You look a lot like Anne Hathaway. I actually hear that a lot. I hear that a lot, a lot. The, I think I get Anne Hathaway the most, and then the second most, especially since I've had bangs for the last few years, is Dakota Johnson. I get those two all the time. Before that, it was always Anne with an E. I didn't like that one. That one made me mad. But I'll take Anne Hathaway or Dakota Johnson. I think they are gorgeous. Um... Crochet can be expensive or it can be cheap. It just kind of depends on, on what you want and what you need, really. I think anyone can crochet. I feel like the, the expense range is really, really wide. Like you can get stuff for very cheap. A lot of the times you can find it for free if you know people and have friends that crochet. Um, or, you know, you can get a super, super fancy ergonomic hook set and a bunch of 100% super wash wool yarn and it'll be super expensive. So, I mean, whatever floats your boat, you know? Yellow or blue? Ah, uh, blue. Gotta pick blue. Twilight or Spider-Man? Okay, are we talking about the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans or like... No, it doesn't matter. We gotta pick Twilight. Sam Raimi Spider-Man's though, really close, really close. Pink or red? Pink, pink is better. Black or white? Ooh, black, I guess. White is like a really important color, but black is, is so good, so good. Josie or Hosie, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $4.99. How's it going? It's going good today, honestly. Teal or pink? Ooh, teal is a great color. <gasps> oh, but I love pink. Oh. Teal. 
teal, I guess. Can we do both? They look so good together, too. I have two dogs. You guys want to see them? That's Terry. Over here is Neji. Neji, Terry. They're chilling. Purple or pink? I gotta go pink. Pink or orange? Pink. Magenta? Crochet or knitting? I personally like crochet better. I'm better at crochet. Crochet like works better in my brain. Like I understand the mechanics of it a lot better, but knitting is really pretty. I think knitting is, is really nice to look at. But also I think it kind of depends on like uh, the project, you know? Like if I was making a sweater, I would rather it be knit. But if I'm making a, uh, a crop top, a little, like the crop tops that I make, I'd rather it be crochet. Zombie, thank you so much for the rose. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Dog or cat? I would have to pick dogs since I've got two of my own dogs and I love them. But, you know. Dairy? Diary? Oh my gosh, am I saying that right? Dairy, diary, D A R Dari. Dari is totally you. MTV cartoon, I think, from the 90s. Totally you, though. Is it, wait, okay, is it Daria? Is that what I'm thinking of? That's a, that's a cartoon, right? Daria. Yeah that one I've seen clips of that but I've never watched it like I've seen TikToks about it and stuff but I was like yeah no I get it <laughs> I get it looks and attitude agree <laughs> yep I'd rather use thick yarn than thin yarn if I had to choose Zombie, thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pastel or bright? Hmm. Pastel or bright? I guess I would choose bright. Pastels are really fun, but like in the long run, I would rather have bright colors. I can do tutorials. I have lots of tutorials on my channel. I have a tutorial for this scrunchie, if that's what you're asking. I also have tutorials on how to crochet for beginners. I have tutorials on all of my tops. I have tutorials on some sweaters. I've got, got lots of stuff. The yarn that I'm using is Juicy Couture in the color Coral Haze Sparkle, and you can get it from Joanne. I think that you can only get it at Joanne because it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's a Joanne exclusive. I'm not totally sure, but I, I believe so. Your local Childermain, Chill, what? Hello, thank you so much for the super chat. I've been wanting to show support to someone lately and who else than my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Is Michael's better or is Joanne better? I, mm, I think Joanne. But that's probably just because I shop at Joanne like way more often. And that's mainly because Joanne has more yarn that I use often. I think it depends on like 
what kind of stuff you make, you know? Because I, th I think if you make more amigurumi, like, you would prefer Michael's since they have a lot of plush yarn. But since I make clothing mainly, I feel like Joanne just works better for me, you know? We, we vibe more. Especially because they sell Lily Sugar and Cream. Michael's is always out of stuff, yeah. I've also noticed that, like, on the Michael's website, it's kind of weird. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm not actually ordering from Michael's. The pricing isn't always consistent. I don't know. I don't know. Um, clothing. Clothing. I don't make plushies. I'm not a plushy gal. Ta -da. I do have a shop. Yeah. I have my own website. It's run through Shopify and it is passionategoods.com. I sell everything that I make there. So, you know, we're going to have scrunchies. Actually, why don't we, why don't we, um, I'm going to restock these scrunchies right now because I just finished them. So I've got it open on my, my computer. I'll restock them. Angel scrunchies. Available. One. Save. Okay. These should be up now for sale. I believe. Yeah. My website was linked in the chat. Thank you so much, Mod. Appreciate it. Black or blue? Probably blue. Interesting choice. I'll also restock the pink sparkle scrunchies just cause. in there hold on oh coral sparkle scrunchies I speak four languages that is super impressive thank you for subscribing hi uh, I don't know stray kids I mean it's probably a band right Active, save. Okay, there we go. There we go, sorry. We've made one, we're about to make the second one, so I just restocked. Cause I sell them in pairs of two. Goodness. I'm, I'm pretty sure whenever I timed myself, um, I made a video where I did how many scrunchies can I finish in one day, and I tried to make as many scrunchies as I could. And I think that they took me probably 15 minutes. Between like 12 and 15 minutes is how long that they take usually. I like crocheting better. Just a personal preference. Will I ever make a skirt tutorial? Um, at the moment, I don't know, maybe whenever I run out of other things to do. You will probably most likely see a dress tutorial before you see a skirt tutorial, which is funny, I know, but I have a, I have a dress. I've made a dress and I'm, I'm all, I have a dress in progress. So I would probably make a tutorial on that before I would make a tutorial on a skirt because I've never made my own skirt pattern. I cannot do a strawberry cow, no.
I like Olivia Rodrigo. I, I, I really like the Sour album, um, but I haven't really listened to the newer album, which is Guts, right? I haven't listened to that one very much. Today's your birthday. Well, happy birthday. Hey, Lexi love. Welcome. Thank you so much for the dollar 99. How are you doing today? Do I like Hobby Lobby? I like their yarn. I don't really like them as a corporation, but I mean, they have good yarn. You can't argue with that. Hi, Pookie. Did someone just call me Pookie? Disney princess. Neji, he's in here. He's sitting in his bean bag. I will eventually try making plushies, yes. Just, you know, not right now. JB, thank you so much for being here. Hi, Kelsey, I love watching your videos while working on my projects. Well, thank you so much. I am very happy to keep you company and I really appreciate everyone that watches. Like, like seriously, you guys, you guys just... <laughs> you make everything possible you know i wouldn't be here without you guys so just thank you so much thank you thank you a lot i appreciate it and thank you so much for the super chat it is very extremely kind of you what's my favorite color um i don't know it's probably pink I always say I don't know or I don't have a favorite color, but I feel like I am heavily biased towards pink. You guys want to see Neji? Let's see. Nedrifer. Nedji, you want to come here? Come here. Hi. Oh, what a good boy. Don't lick my face. That's nasty. He's looking out the window. Two dollars. What do we miss? Oh, stop. Heidi Lily, OMG, I love all your videos. Just binged, watched a ton. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the $2 as well. I hope you're having a really, really good day. Um, Neji, say thank you to Heidi. No? Ungrateful. Ungrateful. She just bought you a dog treat. What a heathen. I will be live streaming um, until Caesar gets home, my my boyfriend, and we we have dinner, which I'm not sure how long that will be. Probably we probably got like thirty to forty five more minutes. Hey, buddy, you got to get off now. Love you. All right. Doggy. Oh, I haven't worked on the cross stitching in forever. Since the last time I posted it in one of my vlogs, that was the last time I worked on it. I don't do it very often. 
I haven't had a lot of free time because I've been just pumping out orders. And we also had Easter and stuff. I am not a fan of Taylor Swift or Melanie Martinez. Dog. <laughs> I I went to Missouri State. Didn't graduate though. I started a business instead. I have not listened to Beyonce's new album. Yeah, I have Stardew Valley playing in the back. Just the soundtrack though. Although I am a fan of the game. I kind of want to start a playthrough, maybe post it on my second channel, Passionate Plays. Play some games over there. Shaquille Shari, thank you so much for the two, is that Euros? I think so. Thank you, thank you. It's a cute little sticker. Thanks for being here. You'll love the green rain. Green rain, what? I have only ever done one world of Stardew Valley. Okay, I made it to Ginger Island and like that's, that's it, you know? And it was multiple years ago, but I was thinking about starting another run and doing a different kind of farm layout or something, I don't know. You know, I picked like the standard farm or, or I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I wanted to pick like a different layout. Isn't, isn't there like a forest one or something? There is a new farm. <gasps> Who knows? I don't make stuffed animals. I have friends that do though. You should check out Crochet Mizadi's channel. Ooh. Um, I will be making some tote bags soon. I'm gonna use the granny squares. What the heck? Oh wait, we already ran through all of the, I'll get to that super chat in one second. Okay, I just had to start over the Stardew Valley. Angie, hi, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Hey guys, ironic that you're playing Stardew music while I'm working on a huge Stardew cross stitch. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. You're doing a whole Stardew cross stitch of the game map. I'm so, so jealous. I want to make one of those so bad. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I mean, I could, it would take forever. It would take years and years and years, but that's so freaking cool. Thank you for being here. Um, oh. I don't think I have a crochet beanie tutorial. I have a knitting beanie tutorial though. The Stardew Valley cookbook, yeah. Um, I'm not ignoring anyone. There's just, there's a lot of chats. Okay, calm down, calm down. Last time somebody, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a child. They were like, they told me that they hated me or something and then, <laughs> Uh, apparently that was like the only message of theirs that I saw and I thought they were joking because right before that I had said something like oh I said I don't like avocados and then that's whenever their message came up that said I hate you and I thought they were joking about me not liking avocados so I read it out loud I was like oh you hate me and then I was like that's fine <laughs> 
but um yeah they got really upset about it and then they were they were commenting on my videos and they were like i'm so sorry that i said i hate you i just i thought you were ignoring all of my messages on purpose and i was like that's hilarious yeah it's your fault for asking me if i like avocados <laughs> yeah but they commented on multiple videos and they were like, I'm so, so sorry that I said I hate you. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. And then they also sent me like DMs and stuff. And I was like, Calm. it's okay. It's all right. But like, you just, you, I'm, yeah, you guys just have to understand that there's a lot of messages. I do my best. I read them. Try not to spam so that there will be less messages. Be patient. It's okay. It's all right. We're all just here to hang out and like, and uh, make scrunchies, you know? Do I have set work times for the day? Um, I don't, which my boyfriend has told me many times is not good for me. <laughs> uh, he keeps telling me that I need to have a schedule and that I should stop working at a certain time every day. Because I, I kind of, I really just, I work all, all the time. I'm, I'm never not working because like technically I, I don't consider moving to the couch to watch TV. Like I'm still crocheting. Yes. But I don't, I don't consider that working. Yes, uh, this live will be saved afterwards, so it'll be up on my channel in the live category and you can go back and watch it if, if your heart so desires or if anybody missed it. If any of you are watching the VOD right now, shouts out. I love you. Thanks for watching. I do have pets. I have two dogs. I stopped crocheting because my hands are tired and then I'm like, I need to crochet. Like I said earlier, it's like fidgeting. It's like a fidget toy. I always, I feel like I always need to be crocheting because if I'm not, I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the heck am I, what, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? And Caesar's like, we're watching a movie. And I'm like, yeah, but like, what are we doing? <laughs> so I just, I, I crochet all the time. Oh, so sorry. Guys, drink some water. Hello, stay hydrated. Um, if I start a new Stardew Valley game, then yes, I will record the gameplay. Um, I have been wanting to start a Stardew Valley game and record it. I was just trying to think like what kind of content I should be making with it. Like, because I've been watching Stardew Valley videos and I've been watching a lot of challenges. Like, you know, they'd be like, I 100% of the game as fast as possible. Or like, I completed the community center within the first year and like other stuff like that. So I was trying to decide, I was like, should I, like, should I try to do a challenge or, or should I just play the game? You know, like, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, are you guys cool with like, just, just playing? I don't know. I have played Animal Crossing, but um, I played it for a while. Didn't like it as much as Stardew. I have wrist pain from time to time, but not a ton. And it always goes away and it's never presented a huge problem, which is, I mean, that's good. I would be fine just watching you play. goodness. 
Um, I've never had a girlfriend, sadly. Just men. Webkins? Um, okay, I did record me playing Webkins, so that will be up on my gaming channel. No. new hair color probably not I'll, I'll definitely always stick to my brown at least on the top i only dyed the bottom of it blonde but i only did it on the inside because i i am lazy i will never ever keep up with my roots like if i had to dye my hair if i dyed my hair a different color like i just i know i know that i would not keep up with my roots and then I would look like a crazy person so like this one I can hide it <laughs> at least with my regular hair but Why clover hooks? I just, I like them. I like them a lot. I feel like they fit my hands very well and the way that I crochet. I've bought a lot of hooks over the years and I've tried a lot of hooks, different brands, different styles, and clover is the one that just, it, it meshed the best with me. So those are the ones that I use now. If you want tips on having a business, I posted a Q&A video not too long ago and I answered a lot of questions. I think you should watch it. I also have beginner crochet tutorials. Do you like kickball? I guess. I have heard about the Smosh marriage. Ugh. Courtney and Shane, are we kidding? I, I, I really, I really, I really, really thought it was a joke. I was like, I was like, it, no, this is April Fool's. There's no way. But then as the day went on, by the end of the day, I was convinced, okay? But at the beginning, I was like, no, no. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? But yes, by the end of the day, on April Fool's, I was convinced that Shane and Courtney from Smosh really did get married, but at first I didn't believe it. It's very exciting though. They hit it so well. Yeah, I finished these three white ones right here at the beginning of the live. Da, 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 da. And I have finished these two so far out of our pink one. And it should make four, so we're on our third. Um, uh, I don't think I've ever tried tulip hooks. I've heard of them. Probably seen pictures of them and stuff. I sell scrunchies on my website, passionategoods.com. Yes, I'm gonna teach my boyfriend how to crochet. We decided in my last live stream that we are gonna teach him how to crochet once I hit 750,000 subscribers. So that's that's our goal. As soon as I hit it, we will post it. I think I'm going to film it beforehand so that as soon as I hit 750k, I can have it ready and post it. Cereal first and then milk, okay? That's the only right way. I crochet all day, all day. Uh, 
I would not crochet my wedding dress. No exercise? What are you talking about? Um, I have done corner to corner. Yes, I made a baby blanket with it last year. Oh my gosh, hold on. I can't read anything. I wouldn't suggest using chunky yarn on the scrunchies like brunette velvet or juicy couture. These are a five, but they're a very squishy five, honestly. And um, they work well, but I've tried making them with thicker yarn and they kind of just get too stiff and then they don't really ruffle well. They kind of curl up and you know, they don't, they don't work as well anymore. The cheapest thing in my store would be the scrunchies. They're $3.50 a piece. And um, the most expensive thing would probably be if you wanted to do a custom order for a cardigan. Or if we're talking about pre-made items, it would be uh, my tops, probably, I think. I have shipped to the UK, yeah. Yes, we are getting a Friday upload, which should be tomorrow. I'm gonna upload the tutorial for the bottle carrier that I have posted a short of recently. Ergonomic or non-ergonomic hooks. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, this is ergonomic. This is good for me. I don't, I don't know if I would like it to be any bigger. I'm not sure. I tried the tennis ball thing. That did not work. Way too big. I have shipped to Australia before, yes. I do ship to Europe, yes. My most productive time to crochet is, um, it, I don't know, it, it depends. There's not like a certain time period. It depends on my mood because Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I, um, ooh, okay. Anyway, I just gotta be in the mood. Sometimes I can crochet like really fast if I'm in the right mood and I just put on some background music and I'm in the zone. And then other times I can't focus to save my freaking life. So, <laughs> you know. Why is everyone so concerned if I work out or not? Does it matter? No, no, I sit on my butt all day long. I don't do anything else. 
Why do you care? Just wondering, for real. Third scrunchie done. Oh, well, okay. They're not done because I'm not weaving in the ends, but whatever. Crochet hook reviews. Want to see them guns? <laughs> Should I flex for you? Crochet hook reviews. I feel like, um, Lexi Love, thank you so much for the super chat. If you paid for a pattern, how do you find it? Um, where, I mean, where did you buy it from? If you bought it from my website, passionategoods.com, it will be in your email. You should have gotten an email and it will have the download link for you. If you bought it from Etsy, it'll be in your Etsy orders. If you bought it from Ravelry, it will be in your Ravelry, like, I don't know what it's called. It'll be on your shelf on Ravelry or something, or, or like, it'll be in your library, I think. Is that what it's called? Maybe. Um, and then if it's on Ribbler, I have absolutely no clue, and I'm very sorry, because Ribbler is um, kind of weird, and I don't really pay attention to Ribbler. My tops are about $50 a piece. Do you ship to England, Pookie? Pookie is so funny. Yes, I do ship to England, yeah. When people donate money, um, it goes to to me, to the channel. Some of it goes to YouTube. You know, they take a percentage, but. Garfield's teddy bear's name is Pookie? Oh. Kentucky? Well. Yes. I ship everywhere within the U.S. and everywhere without the U.S. Every, everywhere outside of the U.S. without the U.S. Don't worry, girl. I got it. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. Um, honestly, the super chats are helpful if you, like, really want to get my attention right? or, or ask me a, a really important question or say something, you know? Because, like, those show up real big on my screen. You know, so if you constantly feel like I'm ignoring you. Thank you so much for the hearts. You can send a super chat. Um, Russia. Have I ever sent an order to Russia? Let me see. Let me see. Even mods do it. Yes. Hold on. Let's see if I've ever sent anything to Russia. It says no orders found. So I guess not. Christina Hernandez. Hello. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I really appreciate it. In your last video, I saw some scrunchies with a different color on the edge. Is that a single crochet? Yes. So here's an example. I made this scrunchie this morning. And what I did is I made the black part. I did double crochets. So it's like my regular scrunchie pattern. I did single crochets all around the center. And then I did three double crochets in every stitch. And then I just did one single crochet in the edges all the way around with the red. Does that make sense? The time for me right now is 4.21 p.m. Does it go to PayPal? It goes into my YouTube account. So like YouTube has uh, an account and then every month they send me a paycheck. Does that make sense? <laughs> How
Hi. Do I ship to Poland? Goodness, hold on. Poland. Not open. Wait, 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 wait. clear all. Poland. Um, yes, I have shipped things to Poland. Wait, 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 wait. These are all patterns. Okay, so I've never actually shipped anything to Poland, I guess. These are all just patterns, so they're digital downloads. Where else was it? Brazil? Brazil. Uh, Brazil, again, these are all patterns. So, like, I guess I've never shipped anything to there. But I have sold patterns to people in Brazil. Do I ship to Africa? Africa. Yes. These are all patterns again. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, we got to get back to making scrunchies. Diddy Cristo, love your videos so much. You're so nice and your tutorials are so helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, okay, what are we, this is our last scrunchie in the, the, the skein. The skein, yep. My website is passionategoods.com. Um, peaches and cream and lily sugar and cream are the same yarn. It's pretty much the same. Like some of it is exactly the same yarn. They have the same colors and stuff. They cross over and whatnot. Um, but then they also have different colors. Can you make an owl? That's a interesting request. I did finish the cardigan from my last vlog. You'll see it in my next vlog, which should be coming out on Monday, 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 Monday. Cause Friday we have the uh, water bottle bag tutorial and then Monday is gonna be another vlog. How do they stretch? There's a ponytail in here. A dragon, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Guys, I don't make stuffed animals. I'm sorry. Can I make, okay, I actually, I will make a bee. I will make a bee. I have some bees. I, yeah, I actually have a few bees, but um, I haven't put them up for sale because I never put the wings on them. So right now they're just like little pill looking things. Here, let me get them. <laughs> I made these rainbow bees see them but I never put the wings on so I don't know what to do with them <laughs> uh, I guess I should put the wings on them so I can sell them because right now they're just like they're just sitting there TSL, your mixed color cardigan on the mannequin is that yarn, Karen. Um, okay, this one, this one right here, right here, that one. Yes, yes, hold on. It is this yarn. It's Karen Blossom Cakes. Crochet shorts. I have made a pair of shorts before. Fake, 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 fake. fake. 
Can I make a sweater vest? I should. Um, okay, let's see. This is, I don't know if they make these anymore. I feel like the cakes go in and out of season, I guess. And it's a Karen Blossom cake and the color is Radiant Rainbow. They don't make it anymore. Damn. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Favorite fast food place? Hmm. Um, I'm gonna say Freddy's. Probably just because I work there. I'm on season three of Shameless. <laughs> yeah, I still have a cake and a half. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I should make a scarf or something. I got the safety eyes from uh, Walmart probably. I do watch anime. I do like pizza. I put pineapple on my pizza though. Come in here. Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to you guys, I guess. Caesar's home. Oh my gosh, yeah. He naked. <laughs> uh, I love Criminal Minds. I don't give shout outs. You can just talk to me like a normal person. That would be cool. Favorite shameless character? I don't know. Teresa, hello. Random, but you have you ever been told that you look like Dakota Johnson? Yes, I have. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, we were actually just talking about that earlier. Someone else told me that I looked like um, oh my gosh, I literally love her. What's A, Anne Hathaway, duh. Yeah, we were just talking about how everyone says I look like Anne Hathaway or Dakota Johnson. I get those two the most, but thank you. Thank you so much. My favorite shameless character is Fiona because like, hello. First of all, she's freaking gorgeous. Also, I just, I like her. But like I said, I'm only on season three, so. Scissors, I use these little Singer scissors. I like them because they're small and they're super sharp and they're just nice to carry around. So here they are. I have two dogs. I, okay, I'm gonna say I do not have a favorite yarn. Because it, it just, it depends on the project, you know? It depends on what you're making. You gotta, you know. I could have a favorite yarn for specific things, but There's not a yarn that covers like everything, you know what I mean? Um, I watch a lot of different animes. I've seen quite a few. I usually just watch whatever uh, my boyfriend puts on. <laughs> he introduced me to anime, you know, seven years ago when we met, so. We watch a lot of shonen stuff. We recently started watching more of the romance animes, romance or slice of life. So those are real cute. They've been, they've been fun. Do I like horror? Um, I like like scary movies, but I haven't watched any horror anime and that's mainly because Caesar doesn't like horror and we watch anime together. So maybe I should try some horror animes by myself. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I have no idea where you could get Lily Sugar and Cream in Quebec. Quebec? I don't know. 
If you want to know how to make my scrunchies, I have a video tutorial on my channel. You should check it out. I've had glasses since third grade. I'm super blind. You see how you can see the sides of my face and they're real tiny? My prescription is pretty high. I do make tops, yeah. <laughs> What's my unpopular opinion? The unpopular opinion that I just shared with the world on my TikTok is that I don't block my finished items. A lot of people agreed with me, but a lot of people did not as well. I feel like most people agreed with me because they just stopped and they're like, oh my gosh, I totally agree. So they left a comment. But I think that if people didn't agree, they were just like, mm, and they kept scrolling. So <laughs> can I make glasses like crochet glasses? Interesting. Interesting. Do I like drama? I like watching drama. I don't like having drama in life. I don't have a cat. I have two dogs. Knitting machine or crochet? Oh, crochet for sure. I don't like the knitting machine, really. It's nice if you want to make a quick hat, but I wouldn't choose to use it, really. Um, I have watched The Walking Dead. I watched it right up until um, that one big death, you know? I, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't spoil it, but I, f I also feel like everyone freaking knows. Whenever that guy got his head beat in with a bat, that's when I stopped watching. Have I done any plastic canvases? I don't think so. I sell all of my crochet stuff. Everything that I make, I sell it all. I don't really keep anything, actually. I have not watched Grey's Anatomy. Hmm. Goodness. Okay. Look at that. We made four scrunchies, and we're down one skein of yarn. Hi, Crystal. My name's Kelsey. Hey, Ella. Let's weave in these ends and call it a day. Yeah, I'm making scrunchies right now. Yeah, I like traveling. I'm 24 currently. Big, biggest project I've ever made is a blanket. But I don't like making blankets. Have I seen The Last of Us? Yes. I watched the first season and I watched my boyfriend play the game, so. Making a scrunchie takes about 15 minutes, roughly, I think. After I finish weaving in this end, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I think I'm gonna skedaddle. We've been live for quite a while. We finished three, we finished seven scrunchies. So like, that's good. I gotta go, my boyfriend's home. I wanna have some dinner. I gotta take my dogs out specifically before they pee on the floor.
It's 4.37. Um, I don't schedule my live streams. Sorry, sorry, sorry. To do a live stream, I have to be like in a good mood. So I can't really, I don't really do scheduled live streams because if I'm not in a good mood, then I'll just, I won't go live. So my, my live streams are pretty random. Um, but I mean, if you made it to this one, thank you for being here. If you want to know when I go live, you should turn on my channel notifications, which is the little bell icon thingy. And um, it should tell you, like, you'll get a notification if I go live. But they're, they're pretty random. TSL Dame, thank you for that cute little corgi. Thank you so much. But, yep, here's the haul for today. Technically, these are included. I just got to weave in the end, but is it a corgi? It is a corgi, isn't it? Sheba. Oh, it's a Sheba. Fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you anyway. It's still a cute dog. All right. I got to go, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night. Eat some good food. I don't know what time it is for you guys, but for me, it's like it's dinner time, so. Bye, crochet, crochet something today or not. I'm not in charge of you. Okay, 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 bye for real, bye for real.